Hey, welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Today on this episode, we are going to be planting some cabbage here in western North Carolina. It's still on the warm side with uh, a lot of coal crops. Um, you want to get the cooler weather, cooler weather going. Uh, we got some red cabbage here. We got some stone, stone head cabbage. A little bit of broccoli, which we had real good success with earlier in the season. And uh, some Chinese cabbage here. Oh, look, it says gourmet. I know. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, you want to get these things in. Um, in the cooler weather, I'm kind of taking a chance here. It's still, it's just now September 7th, or 2nd today. And uh, the, it's about really hot. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to get these plugged in because if you don't plug them in, guess what? You don't get cabbage. And, Did uh, you talk about the broccoli? Yep. Yep. Okay, just we'll making sure because I didn't remember. Cool. Uh, we're going to put in some garlic. Garlic you want to get in the fall. And uh, just a few other things, experiments, you know, trying to get that late late lettuce in and try some carrots and stuff. But, you know, you never know till you try. So join us, join us on this journey. <laughs> I've been planting my cabbage and broccoli and intermingling them uh, amongst the different cabbages to keep the, the bugs on their toes. Hopefully they'll fly around and not find exactly what they want. But that's my goal here and uh, I'll let you know how this works out. The soil's great, nice and dark. Um, it's, it's done very well and uh, we're going to try this again. We had real good luck, like I said, earlier in the season with this stuff. And uh, hopefully it'll just keep getting better and better every year. That's, that's the hope here on the, on the homestead. Um, secret, straw and rabbit poo. I mean, it's, it works wonders, guys. Grass clippings. And grass clippings. Yeah, grass clippings for the green. All right, let's plant some cabbage. Go plant your cabbage. Uh, I'm looking to see where we want to, because we uh, got asparagus up in here. Yeah, I know. That's where I had my, sowed those Chinese cabbage seeds that didn't come up. Yep, I know. I'm going to try for the other side and see where you can plug on the other side. All right. And we'll probably do a few on the side of the house here. Yeah, in the in the and new the, herb garden. Yeah, in the little herb garden. The purple cabbage is beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, it looks very ornamental. Nobody ever has purple plants grown in their yards. So, True. Yeah. All right, this is virgin ground. You know that? Yep, I do. I not planted in this yet. I know that is where um, we started. My, the, the garden used to stop about where the stroppies and brandy ones are, maybe a foot past that, and this is part of the expansion. So this is new ground, man. We're breaking new ground. Sorry, I just moved that out of the garden because. So, what are you doing, Chris? I am rolling back all this mulch that I put on here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be plugging, plugging our plants in. Yep, virgin ground. So, don't expect this to look as nice as the older part of the garden. It's still clay, man. It won't be in the next five years. Yeah, I know. See, can you tell the difference? See, it's got a lot more red in it. It's not as brown. And it's got the classic red clay clods that have to be broken up. <laughs> but basically, this is kind of like a no-till type garden through the uh, the mulch, the back to Eden type gardening. It's a it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. But it's, it's like what we've had good success with, so mm -hmm. we're sticking with it. Okay. I hate weeds, guys. I just weeds are my enemy. So yeah, I mulch it. Yep. Not because it's fantastic necessarily, even though it is. 
I do it because I'm lazy. And I hmm. don't like to pull weeds. Chris, the lazy gardener. The lazy gardener. And now I'm just grabbing at random here. I'm trying to grab one from each cell pack. And like I said, keep my keep my bugs on their toes or on their stilts or whatever they walk on. <laughs> their wings, if they fly. With love, guys, with love. That's all right. I hear a rock. Yeah, that's what we have here in Western North Carolina. We got red clay and rocks. Hmm. It's probably like a 50% mix of both, red clay and rocks. Yep. That's an exaggeration. It's probably more rocks. <laughs> There's a grub in our garden. That's surprising. Not. Bring Animala down here. She'll eat them. My grub eating puppy. I examine all my dirt. I'm, I'm zoomed in on your hands. They know. Does it feel damp? It feels dry. It hasn't rained here. I mean, it's rained, but not really, not significantly. Every time it's rained around this area, it's always circled us. Yeah. It's always gone around us. And that's how the mountains are here. We got a little microclimate, so it just it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it happens. All right, I need some coal crops to pop in here. That's All coal. Right. C-O-L-E like is in coleslaw, not cold crops. There's no cold. There you go, Even some mountain there is speak. A cold crop. Peas are pretty cold, Levin. But I'm talking about coal, C O L E, coal crops. What's that mountain speak? Mountain talk. Fixing to pop in my coal crops. Fixing to. Fixing to. Where are you from? From the mountains of North Car North Kakalaki. You mean the mountains of Appalachian? Yep, Appalachian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they make fun of us for our accents around here, but we got like a secret language. We got mountain talk. That's right. Yeah, we like a mountain talk. Down to the creek. Yep. Where the bridge is janky. Janky bridge. Janky. <laughs> it's all janked up, man. Janky. What was the one I used the other night? I don't know. I they pop remember. up. Yeah. That's how us mountain folk talk. We like our accents. Yeah. Ooh, look at this grub. That one's even bigger. <laughs> there it is. That's the grubs. That's why we have moles in our garden, because they're well, eating yeah. these grubs, man. They're like Animala. Animala likes to grub. She looks like the doggy denter commercial when she's carrying one around. <laughs> she does. It's hilarious, isn't it? It is funny. Sorry. See, I, I sprayed some vinegar water on myself to kind of keep them. them off of, and it has worked well, but I just got one. He was, he was determined. You so, missed the spot. He liked pickles, I guess. Yeah, you missed a spot. I guess I did. That's why he got you. And there it is, folks. Our brassicas, our cabbage, our broccoli, and it's fixing to storm. <laughs> and then I'm up here, I've broke up some garlic cloves up here in the herb garden. So let me get a shot of that purple, that's gorgeous. See the color scheme as you back out, isn't that beautiful? That's just like dang ornamental. When they're bigger, you'll be able to see it better. All right, let's go check out where I've started to plant some purple garlic up here in the herb garden. Because it's going to storm, I only had time to do one clove or one bulb. So I broke it apart and I dug my holes two inches deep 
and I put two cloves in each hole in the ground and now I'm gonna cover them Try and keep your back straight. <laughs> well, guys, I'm done planting my brassicas. I mix my broccoli up with my other cabbage and my red cabbage. Give it a little variety there. Hopefully it'll keep, like I said, my bugs guessing as to what I'm doing. Um, but it's beautiful. I think the color combination between the greens and purples is going to be aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. So I plan on doing a lot of kraut. I plan on doing a lot of uh, stews. Here's my sexy wife. Hey, honey. We're going to lacto-ferment that broccoli. Pepper. Are you? Yep. What do you think about my my uh, plantings here? Do you think it's going to look good? I think it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait to see them when they're big and it's yeah. just like green, purple, green, purple. It's going to be beautiful. We're hopefully going to get a little rain. I was really hoping on it, but I may end up having to water these things anyway. Yeah, because it st started thundering, did a few raindrops, and now it's starting to get blue over there. Yep, for the last hour or so it's been threatening. And uh, making a bunch of noise, but like I said, in this area, it likes to go around us, little microclimates and stuff. It just, it's, it is what it is. Yep. But you can't, can't not water, you know, otherwise it won't come. It won't if you work. know, it'll rain if you water. Everybody knows that. That's right. Yeah. It happens to me like literally almost every time. Every time. Every time. But uh, how's your... Your planting's up there. You almost done, huh? Yeah, I'm done. I planted, I broke up one bulb of um, purple garlic, purple Italian garlic, and um, planted them and just got them covered up. And so I think we're done out here for today. Yeah. All right, everybody. I just got hit with a raindrop. So did so I. <laughs> I better get on the watering, otherwise it won't rain. That's right. Yeah, see, if I water, it'll rain. That's the way it always happens. There you have it. All right, y'all. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, y'all, please, please. Comment, share, we love share the comments. our videos on every social media platform you have. We would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us creators out. Yep. All right. God bless, y'all. I hope you have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time here at the Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye.